Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So, in a couple of videos so far, we've looked at navigation and how to set it up so the player can move. But the issue with this is it's not quite accurate. So, I've put together a little scene just using a custom asset pack I've been working on. If you actually want to get access to this early before it goes out, you can do this by signing up to Patreon. So, I've got a Patreon link, and if you sign up to the thank you tier, it'll allow you to download this asset pack. So with that shameless plug done, the first thing I'm gonna do is drop in a navigation. So I've deleted it from the scene, but I do have some nav modifiers. So these are basically boxes where it says no navigation should be here. So for example, on the roofs, where you don't want the player to teleport, you can get these through just having navigation in our place actors, and then placing a nav modifier. So, but we're gonna actually use a nav mash bounds volume. So. I deleted the one in my scene already, so I'm going to make sure this clips through the floor by dragging it in and dragging down. If you can't see this green outline or overlay, you can make sure your scene's selected so you're viewing it, and then press P on the keyboard to make it appear and disappear. You can also go to Show and select Navigation here, just so we can view it. I'm going to scale it up so it covers the entire scene. That's in X, Y, and Z axis. So we can go upstairs. So, yep. And then if I make it go up, you see we've, we can now go upstairs on our platforms. So if I press play and jump into the scene, I'm just using my quest with desktop view. The asset pack itself does actually work on the Oculus Quest as well. So if you wanted to use it for that, Feel free. So we can have a teleport, but you can see there's certain areas we can't get into. This is because our navigation mesh isn't quite accurate enough and it stops us from going through certain locations. So this is something we're going to fix. And if I close out of this, normally, as so you can see, we haven't got any navigation inside. So normally the thing to do is go to our world outliner and select our Raycast nav mesh default. I'm going to do it here because the last time I tried this, it actually worked, but I'll show you what happens if it doesn't. So in cell size, I'm going to change this to four, I think. And you can see now we can already access some new areas. In our cell height, I'm going to change this to five. And in our agent radius, I'm going to set this to 10. So you can see we've got a little bit more access to the places. We can go inside now. And if I hit File, Save All, because so you don't want to forget to save, I'm going to hit Play. And if I jump back in and go over to our little red building, oh, you can see we can't actually teleport. So this is caused by... If I open it up. This is caused by our agent radius. Changing this sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. So I'm just gonna change this back to 34 by default. So now if I hit play, I'm good to teleport. Excellent. So we'll ignore that one, but now I can actually go inside of the little buildings and we can go upstairs, we can go on the roofs, I'll be able to teleport through the floor if I get the line trace lined up. That's just because of my line trace isn't being blocked, but no worries. So that's basically how to improve our nav mesh and get some more accurate results. But the issue with this is in some occasions, it can actually not save when you close your project. So if I go to file, save all, just to make sure I've definitely done it, I'm gonna close it and reopen the project. And in this case, it has, it has actually saved the changes I've made. But when I was trying this originally, it was bugging out and it, it wasn't saving the, the modifications. So one way I found to actually do this is go to edit, project settings, and then in here, if we scroll down to engine tab and we go to navigation mesh, you'll see we basically have the same settings we had before. And in this case, it's using the default, but we've changed these to match 
our navigation. So all we've got to do is actually update these. So our cell size to four, and we'll change our cell height to five. And if you remember, I switched the agent radius back, so it's at 35. And then we can hit play, and we've got full access to our navigation and entire environment. So I hope this was helpful. I surely wish I knew about it earlier on. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you want access to the pack, Again, it's available through all my Patreons. That includes all the meshes, and I'm currently updating the pack as we go, so things might change in the near future with it. Probably more, more content to be added. But apart from that, and I hope this was quite useful for some of you, and until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you then. Bye.